Good night, out and abouters. This is Memo Huerta, and I'm here at 161 with the owner, Brian Kent. Brian, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. I'm happy to be here. I'm really excited about this. This is probably the newest and definitely the most trendiest bar in Zona Romantica at the moment. Congratulations, Brian. It's looking amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, my partners, uh, Roger Allen and Brian Stocks, and I are super excited about all of this. So, uh, yeah, it's all coming together. Cool. So are we. And... Um, so we're wondering if we can get a short tour. Yes, absolutely. Let's do as it. Come on. I ask you more questions. So first we do we do our temperature checks. Of course. As we do. So all right. You're good to go. All Thank right. you. So what a beautiful bar. Can you want to tell me more about this? Yeah, I mean our concept was to create a, a very loungy environment, something that was very comfortable and cozy where people could actually have conversations. So um, you know, that's why we have different little nooks and little areas to converse. I'll show you as we get through. Um, but yeah, we wanted to come in. Um, a tree was something that we just wanted to have. We, I saw one in uh, Talakepaki when I was visiting there and I thought it was so cool. And so we created this. It's actually an endangered tree that died and we, we were able to save it and give it some life here in our bar. So uh, this is it. So come on in and I'll show you. Thank our you. Our car is made all of Perota wood. Um, we have a... Uh, a fake river running through it that we're just still finishing up but it's coming together nicely and we're super excited about that um, around over this way we have our first area little, little nooky comfortable areas that you have all the way sorry all the way through the back and um, yeah, all the way back here we're working on a, a VIP lounge so it's going to have, um, it has banquet seating, so it's going to be about 10 to 15 people will be able to fit in there. You can reserve it, have a birthday party, a special event, kind of have your own little space back there. Um, if it's a bigger party, we can bring it all the way out here and create almost a two-room kind of VIP experience if you if you have something going on. That's awesome. These living rooms look so, so great. The furniture is beautiful, and it seems so cozy. Like, you can definitely have a conversation here. Yeah, it really is, and that was that was the most important thing. Even the design of the bar, you'll notice it uh, kind of has a wavy shape to it, and we did that so that when you're sitting at the bar, you could actually look across and actually see someone when you're having a conversation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes at a bar, you know, you're sitting next to somebody, you can't really... You can't really see them because <laughs> they're, they're right over here. Yeah, so, so we wanted to really just create something that was warm and conducive to conversation. So uh, that's, yeah. That's amazing. And the music is great. Yeah. You know, we're, we're going to do something a little different. We're doing more of um, a house and classic house sound and it's still very upbeat and vocal and fun and energy at night. On Fridays and Saturday nights, it'll be kicking. We have a live DJ um, most weekends and we had her last weekend for the first time. She's amazing. So it's, it does get really exciting, but we're, we're steering away a little bit of kind of what you can get in most places in Vallarta, which is more commercial sound. So, um, yeah, so it's uh, for something different. That's awesome. And this is uh, LGBT. It is gay, it's gay owned and operated everybody's welcome here so we you know I, I always want to create an environment for all kinds of people you know whether you're uh, lesbian gay straight any anybody is welcome here so yeah that's awesome and it definitely it keeps true to its Puerto Vallarta origins but you do get that feeling that it's a very cosmopolitan bar yeah, I mean, I think what we did was try to bring a little bit of city into Vallarta, um, more Guadalajara, Mexico City feeling, that some, something you'd see more there, um, as opposed to what, what, what you could kind of see in, the, in our little, little town here. Um, but it's still, like you said, we wanted to still keep it feeling like it didn't just not fit in, into place here. No, you did a great job with that. It's amazing. Great. Why don't I take you around to the other side of the bar and we'll head upstairs. Perfect. This is the amazing staff here at 161. So this is not usually a, a place that you stop to show people because it's usually not that exciting. But um, our restrooms are kind of special. <laughs> so um, Tamali Ringwald, who is an artist um, from San Francisco, she lives here. She does some amazing, amazing work. She has her own tour company. She does boat tours. But she, we got her to come in and recreate Tama Finland, who's one of my favorite artists. Um, and my partners as well. So we said, let's do a Tama Finland bathroom. And, um, and yeah, so this is what she created. It's pretty spectacular. As you can see, she recreated all the different images here. Um, we chose different ones to make it uh, kind of come to life. Uh, even in the stalls here, each stall has its own, own image. So it's kind of fun. 
Definitely, it's really, really cool yeah. and true to the bar. And, sh and sh exactly, <laughs> exactly. So let's head upstairs. So this is like your your patio smoking. So this is our first little patio. Uh, it's a covered patio right here. Um, you have lots of air, but we, we lifted the roof way up, so we had some sunlight and some air, but it's still covered in case it rains. There's still somewhere smokers can go or people that just want to be outside. Um, we added this stair, and then we put in the whole roof. Come on. Let's check it out. So this is the first level of our roof. We have a kind of a double-tiered level here. Um, this is our first level, and then we have stairs that go up to the top level over there. Um, and we share a patio with Anonymous Bar, which is next door, which are my partner's bars. So, uh, yeah, it's really great up here. It's a nice energy up here because we have them and we have Tacos Revolution down here. They sometimes have live music, so it gets really fun and boisterous up here. And it's just, you know, it's Puerto Vallarta, so the nights are everything. Great. And you just had your soft opening last weekend, right? We had our soft opening on Friday um, and Saturday. And then um, we're having our grand, grand opening this Friday, April 2nd. April 2nd, cool. Yep. So we're inviting everyone, all out and abouters, to come and join Brian and everyone else here at 161 Bar. Two questions. Yes. Uh, location? So we're located at uh, Rodolfo Gomez 161, which is where we got our name from. Um, it's right in the heart of the Romantic Zone. And then what's the noise level in order to respect the people around who live there? Well, we don't have any amplified sound on the roof here that we did on purpose. So... The roof is basically conversation. Um, so, you know, we 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 had three big weekend, three big nights, and we haven't had any problems. But I think that's because we do try to be considerate of of our neighbors, of course, always. Um, and we don't have amplified sound out here. So this is a place where you can come and really focus on conversation and just be outside. And yeah, even indoors, I got that feeling that you can have a conversation and you can sit down in these lounge um, areas and. It's not too loud. I mean, the music is great, yeah. but it's it's comfortable. Yeah. Well, Roger, uh, Brian, and I really, really wanted, you know, we had a, this idea in our head of what we wanted to create in terms of that energy. And uh, we're really happy with how, how it came out. And seeing people actually out here utilizing the space has been really amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. It's beautiful. Do you mind if we check out the rest of the rooftop? So it's a beautiful space, even for this time of day, to just see the the night roll in and. Now we're back. And we're back. But yeah. <laughs> so it's nice to have two levels. It just kind of breaks it up. I yeah, you've got. It's it's really interesting that you've got different areas in the same in the same bar, and you can definitely have a private conversation or meet people. Yes, for sure. It's one of my favorite areas to come up here. It's it's just peaceful and beautiful. So. You get a little bit of two different things. You get peaceful and beautiful up here, and you get a different kind of beautiful down there. So, Cool. Brian, can you tell me a little bit about the drinks that you guys offer here, your specialty? Yeah, so uh, Brian and Roger and I really wanted to create, you know, kind of a, something a little different. So we have, uh, each month we have different uh, craft cocktails, specialty cocktails on the menu, and we will change those out, you know, off and on. And uh, we also have beer on tap, which is something that's a little unique here um, from our partners that's brewed brew locally just down the street, actually. So, um, and then we have, of course, everything else that you want. And so we have some nosh, which is uh, brought to us by uh, the Turkish Nosh restaurant. That's just our neighbor as well. So we're trying to keep it in our community. Um, and it's, it's, it's really cool. It's really exciting. Cool. Is there anything else we should know? Is there a cover or anything? No, never a cover. Never a cover to get in. Everybody's welcome. We're open every day from 5 p.m. to 2 a.m. Well, Brian, we wish you the best of luck. Thank I don't think so you much. need it. This place looks amazing. Thank and it's already so bumping. And... You'll see me here this weekend for sure. Thank